Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video from the Ingenious Engineer. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the TIP120 Darlington transistor with Arduino. Let's get started. The TIP120 is an NPN powered Darlington transistor, and it can be used with an Arduino to control high power electronic gadgets. The TIP120 is a transistor, which means it acts as a gatekeeper between the Arduino and the high powered electronics like batteries and motors. This is because while the Arduino is good at computations, it doesn't have strong enough components to deal with higher voltages and currents. The TIP120 can deal with higher voltages and is connected between the Arduino and the other electronics. The Arduino can tell the TIP120 how much power to pass from the batteries to the motors, meaning we can control high-powered electronics with the Arduino. The TIP120 can deal with most general electronics. It can handle a maximum voltage of 60 volts and a max amperage of 5 amps. However, I have noticed that if it is connected to anything above around 12 volts, it tends to heat up quite a bit, which can melt surrounding wires and make it generally unsafe. To counter this, you can use a small heatsink, somewhat like this one that I made from aluminum foil. However, if you use the TIP120 with anything lower than 12 volts, it doesn't heat up and you can use it without needing to worry about anything. Here is the circuit diagram to connect the TIP120. The motor can be swapped out with any DC electronic component, and the battery can be replaced by any other battery under 60 volts. Here's the code to control the TIP120. I'll put a link to it in the description box down below. The code is very simple, and is the same code that is used to just turn on some sort of small electronic component like an LED light. First, we just want to name pin 9 TIP to make the code simple to understand. Next, in the void setup, we set the TIP's pin mode to output, and then use this to make sure the TIP is off when we start the code. Next, in the void loop, we turn on the TIP for 2 seconds, and then off for 2 seconds. To change the amount of power that the TIP120 supplies to the motor, all you have to do is change this value right here. 255 is the max, and 0 is off. Anywhere in between will change the amount of power that is supplied to the motors, or whatever electronic component you connect. Here you can see the code in action. This battery is connected to the TIP120 and the motor. The Arduino tells the TIP120 how much power to send from the battery to the motor. And you can see it works. The motor ons for two seconds and offs for two seconds. That's it for this video. The TIP120 is truly one of the most useful components, especially if you want to build something like a robot or a remote-controlled vehicle. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. That would help me a lot. Thank you for watching and see you next time.